Hey, you know who I am. If you haven't obviously already seen this channel, um, but um, college football week three was a interesting week to say the least. Um, now there were some interesting games that happened, and I gotta tell you, it was it was something. We learned some things this week, and I think you know we're we're gonna we're, we're getting really really close to figuring out what's going on in college football right now. Um, first off, let's just um, let's take a look at some scores here. Um, you know, uh, some things were not surprising at all. Georgia cruises Ohio State. Notre Dame, Alabama, UCF, you know, cruising against Stanford, um, Utah, Auburn, Texas A&M, and Clemson, you know, TCU. It was a competitive game for a while against Purdue, but TCU cruises to an easy victory. LSU, Texas, Oklahoma, Boise State. And Oregon all cruise to victories. Um, easy, easy victories. Uh, the games I do want to talk about first, let's talk about Florida State, Virginia. Now, Florida State had the lead against Virginia. But then there was all sorts of penalties being called on both teams at the end of the game. And then when I caught it at the end of the game, it was, it was crazy. Uh, Virginia gets the victory, and, you know, it to just rub further salt on Florida State's wounds, Virginia just storms the field anyway. Bronco Mendenhall, he's doing a great job down there, and I was genuinely surprised to see Virginia ranked at 25. Now, could they be right down the road because they have a game against Notre Dame coming up somewhere down the road? Uh, could they still be ranked? Who knows? Uh, next game... They really want to talk about Florida, Kentucky, Felipe Franks out, Trask in, Florida, Cubs back, beats Kentucky. They even get a touchdown at the very end uh, to just seal the deal after Kentucky misses a game-winning field goal. How do you do that? How do you miss that? You know? How do you do that at all? Um, now... Obviously, I'm repping some UNT memorabilia, um, but we played against California, and, um, you know, we didn't do that well. Uh, somehow, California is even ranked. I don't know why. don't know how, but they, oh, they are. They're ranked, and it just is what it is, you know? Cal didn't look that great, so I'm going to assume they're going to lose at some point in, in Pac-12 play. Um, El Cisco, Iowa, Iowa State, what a game. Delayed over six hours due to the uh, lightning. At the end of that game was something of, of pure stupidity. Iowa State. Get some butt back from Iowa. They had a lot of, they had like a bit of, and some chunk change left. But one of the guys blocking runs into Iowa, runs into the Iowa State returner, and they fumble the ball. Iowa gets it back, and Iowa wins. It's crazy, crazy, crazy game. And I wish I could have watched all of it, but you know it was delayed six hours, so you know. Uh, Michigan State, Arizona State, really, really ugly game. Michigan State's offense still does not look good. Um, they haven't looked good for a long time now. But this was just the icing on the cake. Arizona State beats them again, you know. And really, um, really Michigan State should have had another chance at the field goal because of penalty, but... You know, it is what it is. They had a 12 men on the field penalty. You know, they could have had they could have had the field goal the first time. I think they had a timeout or a delay of game. 
<sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, um, just absolutely destruction. Just absolute destruction by Arizona State. And are you firm for harm now? Because Arizona State believe they're right. They're, that's what it's that's what it looks like to me. Um, going up a little bit here, Pittsburgh, Penn State. Now Pittsburgh basically had this game. They could have tied it up. Now with about four minutes left to go on the game, um, Narduzzi decides to go for the three, and he misses. And then the kicker misses. Why would you go for three at your own one yard line? You need you you. You know, Penn State may not be as powerful as they were, you know, with McSorley and Barkley um, in the backfield as they have been. But, you know, you can't you can't do these types of things. These are just some bad coaching decisions, I got to tell you. Just some awful, awful decisions, you know, by these coaches. You know, it, it really, really takes you out. Um, Washington State, Houston didn't really care for this game at all. Kansas blows out Boston College. I don't, I don't know what's, I don't know what Kansas's deal is. They lose the coast of Carolina. They struggle against an FCS team, but then they blow out Boston College. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It doesn't make any sense. North Carolina, Wake Forest played a non-conference game. Wake Forest, you know, had a had a big lead. Gave up a bunch of points. UNC should have had one second on the clock, but ref ball, ref ball comes in and plays a big part once again in determining a game. So that's pretty much week three in a nutshell. Um, oh yeah, one more thing, one more game here that I will talk about: Texas Tech, Arizona. It was a Obviously, it was Pac-12 at the dark, and you know Pac-12 at the dark shenanigans get really, really crazy. And when it came down to that game, um, Arizona was running the ball well. They ran the ball very, very well. It was not even close, to say the least. I mean, that last drive by Arizona was a thing of beauty. It was like a nine-minute drive, and they had all runs. Texas Tech was getting injured all night. They couldn't throw the ball at all. And now Arizona has bounced back after losing to Hawaii in week zero. So, you know, it is what it is. So next week, um, we'll take a look at that at some point this week. Uh, as far as next week's games go, we got some Thursday night football, got some Friday night football, and of course, you know, Saturday, it's going to be crazy. Um, and we'll take a look at the NFL tomorrow after after this Monday night game tonight, which I'm not excited for. Um, but yeah, that's it, everybody. Um, college football week three is in the books. Week four is coming right around the corner. We got three days to wait. See you for some more football. Peace, everybody.